Hello everyone, Cheek here with another Transformers review, and today I will be reviewing the Warbatron Onslaught. And here you can tell, he is a big boy. He's about leader class size, so he's a little bit bigger than the rest of them. Maybe I'll get them all in robot mode for the very end, and since it's the last video about these guys, and just have them all together in one group shot, and then we can see all the size and bears and blah 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 blah. Anyway, let's take a look at his accessories. Of course, he has the big old two guns, which are, in my opinion, almost too big even for him. But yes, he has a big gun and another big gun where he can go pew pew bang bang and like blow himself away every time he fires the guns or go poom, poom. I don't know, something crazy like that. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and take those off. Take them off. And there was like a couple more little guns left in the bag, but it did not show them as being his in the instructions. I really don't know who they're meant to be for, but they're meant for someone. Might be him, might not, might not be him, but I guess I can go ahead and show them off real quick. But they are pretty small, so I don't really think they're for him. As you can see, they are very tiny. Even for a big guy like Kim, they're a little small. Uh, and to be fair, I guess he does kind of have a small head considering how big his body is. But that's for a good reason because he does have a head that goes over his head or a helmet. Anyway, let's take a good look at that noggin. As you can see, it is black plastic with silver paint for the faceplate and a bright orange for the light piping and a turquoise or a bluish green color for the top. Uh, so I don't know. It's possible it's gray paint with... Um, with a, white, a blue head, or it could be gray plastic with blue paint. Not really sure. Not that it really matters. And he has a lot of blue with green and purple accents. And of course, uh, gunmetal gray for the windscreens, and then silver for the windshield wipers, and then you know some more truck detail stuff. And that's pretty much it for the details. Articulation-wise, the head is on a ball joint, and then there's also that, but that's more for transformation. Uh, doesn't really have wiggly waggly. Yeah, not a whole lot, but he can do a full 360. Um, arms can do a full 360, although that does tend to disconnect that, because it doesn't really latch into place. You'd think there'd be a couple pegs that go in there, but no, there is not. There is nothing on there. It just sits over there. Um, arms, if you bend this back, which kind of freaks me out because it does stress the plastic but there's not much I can do but uh, for that but then you can get his a uh, little you can get his arms to move out to the side that far then you can just go ahead and put that back down put the tire back down but then that restricts motion almost entirely um, you get a little over 90 degrees bend at the elbow it can also bend back about that far you do get ro wrist rotation although it is very stiff of course you get hands that open and close and then you get waist swivel very stiff and then you can also flip these up to get a little bit extra for the legs he goes up that far back that far nice ratcheting and then he cannot do the splits this is about as close as you can get because of those and other stuff gaining away so yeah pretty much everyone else on his team can do the splits and even Bruticus himself can do the splits but he cannot um knees a little less than 90 degrees you can also go forward a little bit if for whatever reason you want them to go forward he does have thigh swivel uh he does have ankle tiltage but you do have to make sure you tilt the front and the back and you can move his feet down a little bit a little bit forward and that's pretty much it for articulation and that's pretty much it as far as uh, what I need to talk about before getting on to transformation so let's get on to transformation shall we so far as things first let's see about getting his hands put away just a uh, Open that up, flip them back, close that up, and then you also kind of just want to rotate his hands around, arms around. Pretty much you just want to have them like this because that's where it's going to be for truck mode. Um, then you just want to open up his other arm, do the same, just flip it in, 
and it is everything on him is pretty much pretty stiff which is nice um although it is a little frustrating on some parts when they don't want to cooperate but eh, it's uh, it is what it is and then um next thing you want to do uh do, 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 is uh rotate this up I guess I, can, I, I really don't know why what, what this flips up for. If it's for anything in particular, maybe it's for Bruticus mode. I, I'm honestly not sure because it wasn't up there. It might be. Let's see. Let's grab this. Um, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't look like it's for it. So, yeah. Um, I really don't know. But it generally stays down like that. And then, um, then you kind of just want to get these situated in front of there then you want to uh get all these flush together like so and then you want to uh finagle his arms to where they tab into here and they're just a little bit over the lip right there tab in come on come on tab in like so and there we go pretty much got the front of him done then you can go ahead and flip this down uh clips into place although that time it was an audible click and sometimes this does not want to clip into place that sometimes is a little bit problematic but uh clips into place flip this out clip into place and as you can see he still has visible head syndrome at this point but you can go ahead and then pull this out open up his mask a little bit or helmet whatever you want to call it maybe even pull it up just a little bit so that you can Get his head to go back in it make sure it's perfectly lined up and let's see let's just go ahead and completely flip it up let's see if that will make it a little bit easier then again maybe it won't okay, set him down and flip his helmet up there we go now we got a giant Bruticus head which technically speaking if you really wanted to if you really want to although I don't really see the point you could you could have Onslaught have a bigger head and have Bruticus's head. Like I said, his head is kind of tiny to begin with, or kind of smallish to begin with, so you probably might be better off <laughs> using it if you care about the size of his head. But one thing first you might want to do is rotate his waist around. Forgot to do that. But close this back up again. Just make sure everything's back up. This kind of lines up like this. You want to get the horn thing in there. And you just pretty much close this up around him. Um, I guess this would be kind of like a little storage locker. But if anyone opened that up, they would have a rude awakening when they find a giant head staring at them. Anyway, then you clip his legs together. You push them in like that. Then you flip these out and tab into place. There's a little plug that goes into this hole right here and sometimes getting to line up is a little annoying but just get it lined up and then you peg it in and then there's also a little tab that goes into this hole as well tab goes into that hole right there flip it and tab into place and then the last thing you really want to do for well actually there's still a couple more things just um open up this panel like so flip foot feet in flip the heels down you can, you can either close them back up like this if you want to if you don't want his the bottom of his feet to be veil, uh, visible but if you want to uh, um, attach the trailer hitch which you're probably really going to want to do you're going to want and also flip out the mirrors so now he is a truck he is a big hung a uh, big big old truck um Definitely uh, looks more powerful than Optimus. Definitely not stronger than Optimus. Optimus would probably obviously kick his butt in a fight. But he is definitely very militaristic looking. Which is definitely the look they're going for. But if you do want to attach the hitch, you do want to flip these out and clip them into place like so. Because the little holes in his feet are a little bit lower. So that you can then plug this in like so. And then you have a big old trailer. For him to haul his weapons and then you go ahead and plug these two back together like so and then you um set them up on top like that and then also you can put this on here as well however you want to set it on here although you might want to do that 
Well, these do rotate up, so you can pose them a little bit because of the handles. They do rotate a little bit, but there is a little hole on this peg right here that this tiny little peg on his waist goes into. Just plug it in right there, and there you have pretty much the big stuff of um, Bruticus just uh, stored on him. Uh, I'm pretty sure you could maybe, you can store one of his feet on here, but not both. And obviously you can't store his hands. So it's pretty much like G1 Bruticus in that regard, as in you still have to store his extra parts. But considering how good the figures are overall, I would say that I have, it's not worth complaining about because the figures are so good already on their own okay so one last thing that i feel i should show since um it isn't really exactly part of him but uh the trailer you can get this folded out right unfolded out for the uh crotch of bruticus you clip that back down flip those down um and then of course this right here plugs in right there then you know that comes hit the upper part of Bruticus. Then you flip these down like so. Then you flip these up like that. Rotate around. They clip into place. Um, these go back down. And these are the pegs uh, for his legs to attach. You then, let's see, flip that up right here. You rotate these up and ratchet these down. And then you Get that clipped into place, tab in place like such, and you pretty much got his lower upper body complete. And you got don't want to put too much force as then that'll pop loose like it just did. But here we have the lower upper the lower torso of um, Bruticus himself, and I think that's a pretty nifty transformation. And it's still not part of him, not making him excessively big in his robot mode, which I think is a pretty cool touch. Um, so that's about it wrapped up for Onslaught. So in a little bit, I will go ahead and show them all together in a group shot. And here we have them all together in a final group shot. And even with him kind of uh, bending his knees to better support himself with the two giant handguns, rifles, blasters, whatever you want to call them, he still towers over the other. So yeah, he is definitely a class size. And the rest are Voyager class size. And they all look amazing together. Um, and as far as a favorite, they're all really good. But just like the other Bruticus sets I've had in the past, Brawl is pretty much my favorite. I don't know why, but he is. But that concludes the set of the Warbitron. And if you like this set of reviews, and you like to see other reviews like this, not like this, whatever, click the like and subscribe button to see more. And until next time... Have a good one, everyone.